Hello, it's Connie from Prosperity Finance. Share the best financial tips so that you can be more successful with achieving your financial goals. Today, let's talk about interest rates. Um, it has been a little while since our last discussion. Now, the interest rates market um, had really interesting movements. In August, they start um, reducing interest rates uh, for uh, one year um, and two year terms. And then uh, the recent OCR announcements, um, there's pretty much no any changes for the interest rate. And then the last couple of days, uh, banks start rising interest rates again. So what's going on? Let's have a chat. Um, well, the OCR, which is official cash rates, uh, that drive the floating rates. Now the OCR uh, at the moment set as 3%. Uh, economists predict uh, by the end of this year, OCR will be um, uh, increased to 4% and then continue uh, rise early next year to 4.25. Uh, they believe that that's the peak rates. So what that means to us, if you have a loan on floating, uh, which is not really uh, common for most of us, um, but it also affects the uh, offset rates, um, revolving rates, or if you have a construction loan, uh, blueprint to build, etc., uh, you will be affected and you, you should expect the rates to continue increase by another percent or, or slightly higher. That's inevitable because at the moment, the inflation is still a big problem, uh, not only in New Zealand, but also, you know, globally. Um, the good news that economists predict the inflation uh, is not going to be as bad as the original expected, but it can persist uh, for a longer period. So that's why OCR has to hack uh, in order to uh, reduce the demand and uh, lower the inflation. Now let's talk about the fixed term interest rates. Well, as you know, banks um, have to borrow money in order to lend to us. And they not only borrow domestically, they also borrow from offshore. Now, the whole global economy is kind of doom and gloom, right? Um, the US uh, Federal Reserve recently uh, increased the interest rate um, by 0.75%. Um, so that means the borrowing cost uh, from offshore uh, has increased. So banks obviously have to pass on that increase uh, to maintain their margin. And in fact, uh, recent um, in recent months, uh, bank has dropped their interest rates uh, for the one year uh, slightly, uh, which is a big surprise to a lot of us because we only expect interest rates increase, not interest rate decrease. Um, banks trying to, you know, get more business, obviously, but on the other hand, they also, you know, have to deal with a higher cost. Um, the likelihood of further reduction is really, really small. Um, if it happens, it will be really, really minor reduction. In my view, it's still going to be an uh, increase uh, at least for next two months, um, but at, uh, you know, uh, a slower pace. So what shall, can we do? What can we do? Now, if you have a home loans, um, I believe the one-year rate still has the most value. Um, it's much, much cheaper uh, than the 18 months, two years, and, and uh, three, you know, to five years. So definitely uh, should consider the one-year. However, I think things can't be settled uh, completely in 12 months. The inflation probably is still high. Um, you know, the, the, the gas supply uh, will still be a big issue. Uh, the war will continue, etc. So there's so many uncertainties, right? So we really don't know what, you know, the economy could look like, you know. So if you worry about the certainty, especially, um, you know, you expect um, your cash flow uh, could be reduced or um, or 
fluctuate, then it's better to uh, take a balanced approach, which means you split your loans uh, into uh, more than one um, trenches. Um, you have a portion on one year uh, so that you can have the lowest interest rates, um, but then also consider locking in a slightly longer term, uh, such as 18 months or, or two years. Um, you won't feel much different because one year is also continued increase. So by the end of 12 months, um, you know, if we calculate the weighted average, probably work out is very similar to the two year rates or 18 months. So take a balanced approach will give you more kind of um, uh, peace um, and more, you know, certainty, I guess. Um, and also, I also want to say that if your uh, loan is on interest only and um, the loan will, you know, the interest only term will expire, uh, you know, in the next 12 months, uh, probably have an early discussion with your bank or your mortgage advisor just to discuss the next step. Because for a lot of people, what they are experiencing is that their interest rates will be more than doubled. And if they start paying principal from interest only, they will see a huge jump of the repayments. And, you know, it can give you a heart attack sometimes. Um, so it's good practice to start early and to uh, think, uh, think about uh, ways to minimize the cash flow impact. So, yeah, if you are in that bucket, um, uh, get in touch with your bank or mortgage advisor as soon as possible. Now, for people who are paying interest, uh, principal and interest, um, you can consider, you know, you know, um, paying the minimum if possible, um, so that you have some surplus cash uh, to deal with the emergency or uh, cash flow shortfall. Um, and then you can use that cash. If you have a savings, you can make a lump sum payments um, at the end of the, low, uh, the the fixed term. It's better than, you know, increase the repayments on a regular basis. And in case anything happens, you need a cash, you don't have it. And the bank may not put, prove a top up. So you'll be stuck. So cash is the king. Uh, keep aside for any, you know, emergencies or unforeseen kind of events. Uh, it's also a good idea to have a revolving or offset facility, um, then make lump sum payments. Um, these uh, special, you know, home loan products um, are really uh, beneficial. On one hand, you can lower your interest costs uh, when you, your saving uh, can offset your loan. And on the other hand, you can uh, use the cash if you need it. So it's always there. Um, when you make lump sum payments, uh, once you did that, uh, the money is gone. Um, if you need money, you have to go to the bank and um, request a top up. Uh, so it's not very convenient and they may not approve the top up for you. Okay, so I guess in summary, it's very hard to predict uh, what the rate's going to behave, uh, but what we can do um, is to minimize the impact on our life, on our cash flow. Um, so uh, the above are my tips. Um, obviously, they are just general statements. Um, I don't know your personal situation. I don't know your goals. So don't just take action based on the content of this video. Uh, you need to talk to a um, mortgage advisor uh, to uh, discuss uh, what's the best option for you. But I hope you find this video useful. If you have any question, you're welcome to get in touch with us uh, and we can help you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye for now.